Uh, next up, Rochelle Davis. Welcome Lawrence Mason. Please welcome the man with the candy, Tony Todd. And if you're going to do a pro reunion, you know who you got to call. It's the Ghostbuster, Ernie Huston. decided to, to do a pro reunion, what obviously uh, you have to address was Brandon Lee. I mean, he was just, he was the pro. They've had a number of other pro movies after that, but Brandon Lee was the pro. So instead of just calling this the pro reunion, I really wanted to make this a tribute to the man and his work. So please keep that in mind tonight. Okay, and what we'll do, as we always do, if you have a question, just please raise your hand, and we'll call on you if you could project, because sometimes the acoustics in the room aren't too good, and rather than have everybody stand up in line to talk on a microphone, it's just more comfortable doing it this way. So if you have a question, raise your hand. Who has the first one? Right here. This question addresses the entire panel. What prompted you originally to get into acting, each individual one of you? What was the uh, my parents didn't know what to do with me. <laughs> so uh, they took me to this little uh, after school acting kind of thing. And uh, they saw that I had something going on, so they invited me to come back that summer. And I did a summer thing with the First All Children's Theater in New York. And then after that, they invited me to join the company. I've been doing it since I was 10 years old. Uh, I, I, I started in high school because I couldn't do anything else. Uh, literally, I was, I was a knucklehead and, uh, and I was uncoordinated as a sports star, though that's my first passion and I couldn't sing, although music is my true first love. Um, and it just happened and I got dedicated about it and just went back to school and got my master's in applied. And, uh, and the grace of the luck of the draw. So everybody that wants to be an actor, there's at least 5,000 that never get the shot. So it's a, it's a privileged claim. Hey. Uh, well, you know, um, after high school, I, um, I decided to, uh, to get married and um, have the kid and uh, and then I realized that I actually was sort of stuck for the rest of my life. So I, I took um, a lot of jobs, and then I realized how really bad I could be at most things. You know, when you work a job and you think you're going to be fired any minute. So when I got into college, um, I, I went to see a play, and it just blew me away. And I thought, oh my God, I mean, that, that was so amazing. I couldn't even ask God for that. That was like, I mean, to be able to do that. And then uh, I, I took an acting class and I walked on stage and, and I just fell at home. And I thought, you know what, I can do this. I mean, somebody asked me once, it must be wonderful to do something that you love. It's not so much that I love it, it's just that I know this. I mean, this is, I, I can do this. And it was the first thing that I really felt, yeah, I felt at home. So that's why I act, because, yeah. because I couldn't stop. It was like an addiction for me. My mom said I came out of the womb putting on plays and singing songs. And um, one day I went to my grandmother and just said, I want to be an actress. And she said, you can't just do that. 
And I said, okay, well, I'm going to try. And uh, that's how I started acting. And kind of like Ernie said, it just felt like home to do something that I knew how to do from the day I started talking. <laughs> so that's why I got into acting. <laughs> I um, read a play when I was about eight years old in school, and they gave me this play, Cyrano the Bergerac, and they asked me to learn a few lines of uh, when he talks about his nose. And I took the play home, and I read the, the entire play, and then I just learned the thing about the nose, which is about a three-page monologue. And I got called on in school the next day, and they expected me to do three or four lines, and I just stood up because I didn't know any better, and I did the whole deal, you know, the, whole nose spiel. And they were so bold over, they took me to, I grew up in France, and they took me to the uh, Comédie Française, and, and I saw these guys do this, you know? And I didn't know if I could do it, but I think that's what I wanted to do. And then I saw The Great Escape um, in about 63, and that's all I wanted to do. But it took me a long time, it took me 30 years of acting, to finally be able to say that I'm an actor. And that's just the way it is for me. I've never felt at home doing it. Um, but I love it, I really like doing it. And I know I can do it. <clears throat> so that's how I got into it. <laughs>